back with another video folks where we're going to be looking at some sample images and footage from a recent photo shoot with the Z6 II in extreme backlight conditions. You asked for it folks, so here it is. So I'll be talking over the video footage and the sample reviews so you guys can see exactly what I got from the files out of the Z6 II. But just before we get into this video, folks, I just want to say a big thank you to my wife, who was kind enough to step in and help me out shoot this video. She doesn't like being in front of the camera, so I really appreciate her efforts. So thank you very much. Okay, folks, so we're in Bridge. I'm going to show you some of the images. Um, these are all the JPEG files from that session. Um, and I'm going to show you the heavy backlight ones. I'll show you how well the camera performed and then I'll also show you the footage from the shoot as well because I've recorded the whole shoot for an upcoming uh, upcoming video. I'll just quickly firstly just run through these ones here, yeah, this is just when we were goofing about and um, but you guys will be able to get an idea of obviously how backlit it was and uh, how sharp the images are and how well it focused on the eye. I'm shooting wide open at 1.8 trying again to make it as difficult as possible for the camera in these situations um, but it's done a fantastic job it really did obviously switching between face tracking, eye, eye and face tracking and subject tracking when it couldn't uh, grab focus, when the, when the backlight was really, really harsh, which you'll see from the video how harsh it was, and you'll also see from some of the uh, images. If we look at the sequence here, I've got Joanna Walk, and you see how harsh the backlight it is, it really is harsh backlight. And I wouldn't normally shoot like this, and obviously let as much light lens flare in, and um, sometimes it's nice for a creative field, but again, I'm just testing it out to see how well it's done. Um, so this that shot that was sharp, 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 and then it starts getting soft. That's soft two, soft three, soft four, soft five. So that's five images were soft, and that was really extreme. That was that first little sequence that we tested out, and then we moved elsewhere because I wanted to try it a bit more extreme. Uh, and this was really really extreme. You can see. Actually, in this sequence chart, I'll just quickly show you this sequence. This is when uh, you can see how how silhouetted Juan was. Um, so you can see kind of what the camera had to focus on. So that was Juan. You'll see from the video as well how uh, how harsh the backlight was. It was really bright behind Juan. So that's giving you an idea without the flash of what the camera had to focus on. And I put the flash on. You can see obviously it's nailing the focus every single time, even though it's just silhouetted doing a fantastic job it really is like a really really fantastic job if i zoom in there you can see how sharp it is on our eyes and um, so i was happy with that but we'll move to a more extreme battle situation again down the bottom i think this one i've must have shot around about 30 images and um, i was literally just really really testing it out so this was one of the images that i liked from the that uh, this sequence and again you can see the rim lights how sharp it is from the video footage though you'll see how extremely backlit it is and all the lens flare that's jumping into the GoPro and you'll see from this section uh, these sequence of images how much backlight eventually jumps into the lens and bounces all around the lens making it really difficult for the camera to focus but again it does a really really good job of focusing now you're always going to lose contrast and you're always going to lose a little bit sharp sharpness because of all of the light that's bouncing around inside that's going to make it even more difficult for the camera to focus but you can see how much of a good job it does you know in them type of situations so you can see how much lens flares jumping in the camera there how much light just bouncing all over the place a couple of the shots i think i missed about three or four of the shots and um, but the rest of them it nailed and this is you mixing between uh, i think this was subject tracking and then i've stepped back a little bit so just step back and see how the contrast reappears in the image so it's obviously got more to focus on and it just nails every shot from that um i zoom in there because obviously bridge is taking away at the load but if i go back there again you can see how like the situation i'm focusing in she's really silhouetted against a really bright background so that was that section and then we moved to um let's see this one here I was really happy with these images as well again you can see all the light bouncing around inside the lens it's just really extreme but it does a really really good job i think it misses one one focus one was soft i think it might have been that one i'm not sure oh, it's not too oh, actually that's quite sharp i think it's just because obviously the oh, lens flare that's that. in there and then as soon as i've stepped back a little bit oh, out of the air uh, the glaring sun and then back in oh sorry it's that one that one's soft 
Um, you can see how much lens flares bouncing in. But again, it's done a really fantastic job. That one's soft, um, and that one's soft, and then sharp again. But look at that. I mean, look how extreme that is, folks. Doesn't matter what camera you have, it's gonna, when you put it in those type of situations, it's gonna struggle. And it will struggle, especially when you, you know, but as a photographer, you try your best not to be in those situations all the time. I mean, I would never shoot like that. It's really, really harsh. But I just wanted to test it for you guys. I know a few of you have been looking uh, and asking questions what the back foot, what's like it focusing with extreme backlight, because obviously that's the film the Z6 struggled with that. I never had any issues, if I'm honest, but the Z6 seems to cope really, really well. So that's how it formed in really extreme backlit situation. They've done really, really well. But as soon as obviously it were turned around and started shooting the opposite direction, the eye and face tracking worked absolutely fantastic. As you can see from the back of the camera recording here, it just locks on and you, you're shooting away. It does a fantastic job. So I think all around um, in this situation, it's done a really, really good job. So that really was some extreme backlit situations in some of those shots. So leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how you think it performed. I personally think it handled the situation really, really well. And if you want to see more from that shoot, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have liked this video and it's been helpful, give it a thumbs up. That really helps the videos get out there and more people to see them. And I'll really appreciate that. So with that being said, folks, I'm going to leave that video there and I will see you guys in the next one. See you then.